guys, I just got, I just, just didn't get back from vacation, but I'm back from vacation, and, uh, yeah, I really didn't want to make a video t today, but I wanted to explain what the Xbox, uh, patch update was, so, basically, I, uh, got this video from Woody's Gamer Tag, and, um, I watched his videos, and, uh, basically, I didn't want to explain it, because normally I script out things, I do like that, uh, those kind of videos explaining stuff from other channels, basically get the information from them, and just basically repost it. But I just decided basically to use his video because I thought he explained it very well. And uh, yeah, my trip went pretty good. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a commentary or I'll post the uh, Keen Order Stone last part of the video. I think it's the last part, I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, I'll check and uh, so basically I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, and uh, YouTube's um, video counter for views has been like going crazy and has been working. So that's why my videos have has been going kind of weird, but uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering about the view counters and stuff, that's why YouTube's been going a little bit. I don't know what happened to YouTube, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Pulling out the old school intro just for fun. So I woke up this morning and my Twitter feed was filled with people asking me what was in the new Xbox Live update. So I figured, hmm, you know, let's get on this. Let's research it. And you know what's in it? Almost nothing. Nothing. Nothing that's interesting to us at all. Uh, and what, and what it does is two things. Uh, one, security 2.5 scheme was implemented. Uh, it's an anti-piracy thing. So if you're out there and you have, I don't know, a modded console or something and you're able to, to play games without paying for them, it's going to be slightly harder with this new Xbox patch applied. But I'm guessing that if you have a pirated Xbox, you don't apply these patches anyway. It's been a long time now since you've been able to uh, pirate games and, and play them on like a modern dashboard. So, uh, so there's that. And the other thing that it does is it preps it for another update that's coming this fall. And I thought, huh, let's look into what this fall update is all about. So the first item here, update standard and connect dashboard with full voice dashboard commandment support. So you're going to be able to say things to your Xbox, like Xbox Home, Xbox Video, and it will take you to different parts of the dashboard. The other thing that's new is the dashboard looks different. The next version of the Xbox dashboard is a little simplified, and it's a little... I don't know, it, it's cleaner. And I think that the reason they did this was to make it work better with Connect. You know, if you have lots of small, tiny icons on the screen and you start waving your hands at it in an effort to control it, then it doesn't really work out all that well. So, um, so this, I think, is a nice step forward. We'll see how it actually works when we get our hands on it. I was pretty excited about the concept of Connect support, being able to navigate the dashboard, um, you know, pause my movies, fast forward, and things like that just by waving my hands at it because that way I didn't have to, like, keep the control on Xbox controllers turn off what if 10 minutes if you don't touch it so I thought oh this will be really neat in practice I still use the controller I don't know just waving my hands at my Xbox it's not quite precise enough and if I'm lounging around in the couch or something along those lines it just doesn't work anyway so we'll see this will be their next version edit next version of it and hopefully it works out nicely so let's keep going here the next thing is Bing search on Xbox 360 so that's what's coming up I don't know I what it is, is it'll be a voice command driven thing, and it's not a full-on Bing search like you have in your web browser where it just searches any random thing like how to replace a carburetor on an old Jeep. It's more oriented to the console here. So you might say um, Xbox Bing Lego and find Lego games, or Xbox Bing Netflix something and find things oriented to Netflix. So it'll search what I'll call your Xbox universe. If you're subscribed to Netflix or Hulu Plus, then it will include those things. If it's just games or achievements or whatever that you have on your, your local Xbox, it'll search those things. It's not for random Bing searches. At least that's that's what it looked like when I researched into it. So, so that's what's coming up with regards to Bing search in the fall. YouTube will be coming to the Xbox 360 with Bing search support. My um, Some of my, my YouTube friends were really excited. They were like, oh, YouTube's coming to the Xbox. This is going to be a huge thing. YouTube's going to explode. And my guess, not so much. I, it, you know, I don't really use Facebook on, or isn't Twitter on the Xbox 2. I never t even touch those things. So I predict that YouTube on the Xbox 360 is just going to expose itself as not the perfect platform for YouTube. But we'll see. Maybe it'll turn out really cool. I was really excited when Xbox hit the 360 and I hardly ever use it. 
uh, whatever. YouTube supports coming to the Xbox 360. Might be cool. Maybe they'll surprise me. But I'm not crossing my fingers. I, I, I'm not uh, you know, waiting, holding my breath. That's what I should have said. I'm not holding my breath in anticipation of YouTube coming to the Xbox 360. I think it'll just be, you know, I've got YouTube on some other like set-top devices, and I never use those either. I, I predict it'll be more along those lines. And I should mention, all this stuff isn't what we're getting today, just to be clear. Today's update paves the road for these things to come in. So I was just telling you what's going to be coming this fall. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is it adds beacons. So beacons is a concept kind of similar to Huppet Gaming. If you guys don't know, I'm partners with, with uh, Sassman Jr. And we have the site called Huppet Gaming. You can check it out. I'll throw a link in the description. And basically, it allows you to um, find players, people who want to play Black Ops with you, people who want to play Battlefield with you, etc., and uh, you can make friends and sort of hook up and, and rather than just getting crushed as a single player all the time, you can roll as a team, win all your games. It's a lot more fun to play as a team, etc. It looks like they're adding beacons and it's a similar kind of thing. With beacons, you can, you can sort of hold your hand up and, and tell your friends that this is a game you'd like to play together. I don't know how well it'll work. You know, I, I'd love to see, like I know for Huppet, we're talking about doing something with iPhone support or, you know, putting out an app there. So that rather than just, you know, holding your hand up on your Xbox system, maybe you can page your friends and say, let's get Xbox, let's get PS uh, Black Ops going or something like that. Um, that would be really cool. So you can reach out to people instead of them having to be on their PCs to, or Xboxes to get the message, you know let's play tonight etc you even reach out to strangers but people who fit your your profile um, so this is this visual image here hopefully gives you an idea of what a beacon is you can hold your hand up and say you know let's play this together so also coming this winter or fall is the BBC iPlayer. When I hear BBC, I think of that European news organization, and I thought that the iPlayer was just going to be the same sort of thing, like a European version of headline news. But so I looked into it, and it's not. It actually has popular TV shows. It has a, like a radio, and it's it's you know, more entertaining than, than just news. It's broader than that. So it might be a cool thing. We'll see. I don't know. Like I said earlier, ESPN came to the system, and I wasn't all that jazzed about that. So uh, we'll work it out. Also coming is a television tuner. So Xbox can be your set-top box. Uh, you know, I, I, let's see. So what they when they say that there'll be a TV tuner, they're saying you'll be getting news, sports, and your favorite local channels. Um, it's, so I don't expect this to replace like you know your Dish Network thing, or your Direct TV, or or whatever it is that you use. I, I think it's just going to have like a, a couple local TV things. I don't know for people that don't even have TV, like my family. Maybe it'll be a nice addition. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not expecting at least the first version to be this really grand. You know, all of a sudden I have free television in my house type of thing. It just won't be that. Cloud storage for game save and live profile. That's nice. So, so with the cloud storage. That means that rather than storing all your like saved game information and things like that on your local Xbox, it'll be out there in the internet somewhere, and you should be able to go from Xbox to Xbox and pick that up anywhere. For people like me that have like that play on more than one Xbox, upstairs, downstairs, what have you, it'll be a nice update. So, so I'm looking forward to the cloud storage. And the last thing is expanded Connect voice support. So, so there'll be more voice commands added to Connect. That probably ties in with the first bullet point there, which is um, uh, fold voice dashboard commandment support so there you have it today's update just paves the road for what's coming later this year and it adds some anti-piracy stuff to the to the xbox but i didn't think that just saying that would make a quality video so i thought i'd tell you what exactly it's paving the way for i hope that you enjoyed it Okay, now two videos you may have missed. The top one, I, I cover three topics. So one is the Modern Warfare 3 maps. 402 came out and talked about what map design changes they want to make for Modern Warfare 3. They say they want to make it a little more COD 4-like to have uh, less camping, flatten it out, make it so you can uh, navigate them a little better. It should be cool. Then you can hear my thoughts on that. I talk about playing Domination on Hazard, and I talk about the Call of the Community Tournament, which at the time I made this was sort of you know something that was going to happen that day. And then the other video is a male Monday. I had th covered three letters. One is a, a young boy with he's bisexual and he's having issues a around that. Um, uh, another guy asks how I get games early. And then the final one is someone whose uh, parents found his stash of weed and he's having trouble with parental trust and in his relationship with them again. I give some advice. So uh, enjoy the videos and have a nice day.